the flooding. There was a concern about that a couple of hours ago. That concern has sort of come and gone, but again, right now, when you talk about the beach erosion, you talk about these houses here, what we're hearing is many of these homeowners are riding out the storm. We visited a few homes. We went inside a couple of homes. People say, this is just a, they say this is just a way of life out here, but it's hard to believe when these winds are just raging like this, and this has just been constant. It's just been a constant wind coming off the coast directly across Plum Island. Again, the police are all over the place. They know a lot of people want to come down. It's very rare to see something like this. So a lot of people do want to get a good look at it, but the concern right now is for the safety of people coming down here today. They're asking people to be extra careful. And again, with these howling winds that are expected to continue over the next couple of hours, the concern is for the upcoming high tide, and they say that create some huge problems overnight. The police are on the other side of Plum Island. They're uh, blocking access to the public coming out here. But again, 